Hey y'all everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is a video I haven't done in a while. We're gonna do some current favorites just because I have a lot of new things and so I wanna tell you guys what I'm really loving so far. I have a whole bunch of things, but this is kind of part one. If you want a part two or a continuation of these, let me know and let's go ahead and get right into it. Gonna start with something in the bedroom since I'm already here. This Castellina Clarity with Grapefruit and Ginger Room Spray. This scent is freaking heavenly. Yes, even Nevi loves it. I posted this on my TikTok and someone said they absolutely love this because it smells like a really luxurious, fancy hotel room. And I feel like that is the perfect description for it. I have used quite a few room sprays in my time. And this one has the longest lasting spray so far, but also to me the strongest of smells and one of the best smelling. I've got quite a bit from the Hearth and Hand, and though they smell good once you spray them, the scent is kind of gone after that. Another one that I really like is this room spray that I got from Bath & Body Works. It's the Eucalyptus and Spearmint Stress Relief. You can spray this one kind of like directly on your sheets and stuff. But it's also a body spray, shower mist, freshen up your pillows and linens. Whereas this one, you shouldn't be really spraying on anything directly. This is perfect. I use this every morning once I'm done cleaning up the bedroom. It is so, it's freaking uplifting. I am obsessed with it. And then this is what I've been using at night. I don't use it every night because sometimes I forget. But doing like a really intense self-care routine, this is what I go to. And I actually bought the matching candle of this because I was obsessed obsessed with the scent however the candle smells nothing like this in my opinion it's very waxy and so I can't really smell the grapefruit or ginger at all in the candle which I'm really bummed about because I was ready for the whole house to smell like this every morning but the candle does not do this justice so if you've used the candle and hated it try the room spray because this is an actual scent the candle I don't know it's it just smells like wax when I light it Another favorite is this bath tray that I got from Amazon. It will be linked in my Amazon shop. I love it because it extends to kind of fit however you need it to. Obviously the tray is perfect for an iPad or books. This holds my drink perfectly well, or you can slide. If you wanna slide a wine like stem glass, you can slide it in through here. That way it stays in place. As a tray for your bar soap, we came with this brush which I haven't used yet just because I always forget. But if you like to dry brush, then this actually came with the tray. I took a bath last night and there's some leftover scrub. So pretend like the tub is clean. I'm about to clean it here. But this tray, I've always wanted a bath tray and I felt like this was the best purchase. Moving on, I got a ton of these little wooden scoops. I have some in the laundry room, some for the kids stuff. And then obviously I have one in the bathroom for my bath salts. I used to have acrylic scoops, which I did really like, but because acrylic scratches and gets kind of eaten up really easily when it came to the laundry products, they just weren't very effective. And obviously if I spend my money on something, I'm hoping that it will last a long while. I haven't had the issue with the wood scoops and they're more aesthetically pleasing, especially for the bath. I actually hold quite a bit of product. My acrylic ones were a little bit smaller. So I don't have to dip into as much just because this holds more product again from Amazon. So we'll be in my Amazon shop. But these are just too cute. Next for favorites, we're gonna dive into perfumes. So you guys know, if you've been following me for a while, body sprays are kind of what I have a collection of. It's just easier to have a variety of scents for all my hygiene products with body sprays because they're cheaper. However, obviously body sprays don't last as long as perfumes do. And Trevor bought me this Ariana Grande Cloud perfume and I absolutely fell in love with the scent. It lasts much longer, like I said, but it's such a perfect day-to-day -day scent. I mean, the cloud name is perfect for it really because it just reminds me of a bright, sunny, warm day. So I love wearing it for my day-to-day -day things. And these, I mean, were quite cheap. They're not expensive perfumes. I got them at TJ Maxx, I believe. This is such a great date night perfume or just kind of like a sexy scent. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce the name. 
and I couldn't tell you anything about the scent notes of it because again, I bought it from TJ Maxx. So I know nothing about this brand, but I smelled this and I really loved it. And I asked Trevor if he liked it and he did. So I bought this for kind of my sexier nighttime scents. And then this I've been using whenever I kind of meet up with moms or have play dates or things like that. It's a very fruity, crisp scent. So I think it's perfect for those types of things. So I just have my bases here, which I think is perfect for my little start to a perfume type collection, my day to day my sexy nighttime, and then play dates with other moms or just kind of fun activities. This is actually a hair and body mist, so it's not a perfume per se. It lasts as long, I think the brand is the same though. Maybe not, they just kind of have the same writing. I don't really know, but I just love the scent of both of them. I actually haven't sprayed it in my hair. I'm kind of leery about spraying things in curls. Has anybody actually tried a hair perfume type thing for curly? hair and did, was it okay like i don't know why it freaks me out but anyways i have this in my amazon cart and trevor saw that so he ended up getting it for me this right here i've become quite obsessed with and this one i like i said is just perfect as far as favorite bunny scrubs go right now these two are taking the cake the dr teal's cannabis sativa and hemp seed oil and the citrus Dr. Teal does have another line of scrubs that I'm not a huge fan of, but the Shea Sugar ones are top tier in my opinion. And I think I'm so in love with this one because I realized the other day it oddly resembles the Tree Hut Matcha Mojito, which if you've been following me for a long time, you know that that is my favorite scrub of all time. However, it's a discontinued scent, so it's really hard to come by. And when I do come by it, it is pretty expensive. So this is the perfect alternative for it. And this is one of the best citrus scrubs I have ever come across. I definitely want to pick up the other scents, especially I think one of them is like a blackberry one or something like that and that to me I need it because it I think it's gonna be perfect for fall time all I can think about the blackberry is like you know those kind of cobblers that people make during fall so I definitely want to pick that one up and see the smell the texture the way it exfoliates just 10 out of 10 on all of it I have done a shower routine using the scrub and a relaxing bath night routine with this scrub so if you haven't gone and see those I will link them down below or put one in the card so you guys can watch Okay, let's talk bags for a minute because I used to be somebody who swore would never carry a purse. And now I have quite the purse collection. So the first one is the tote bag by Marc Jacobs. This I actually purchased as a gift to myself and I carry it pretty much everywhere. They do have little dividers on Amazon, not by Marc Jacobs, but just purse dividers because this is a tote that are fairly cheap if you want to put it in here to have more kind of pocket or organization in it and not so much as a tote. There is a strap that comes with it. However, the last time I carried it, I carried it without the strap. So it's not on right now. This is the medium, I wanna say. There's a small one and then there's a large one. The large one, if I recall, doesn't have the long strap, which is what I wanted. So I opted for the medium one. But I mean, I take this thing everywhere. It has two pockets right here. And then it also has a zipper pocket. But I mean, the nude color obviously goes with everything. I wanted the nude leather specifically so that it could go with the majority of the outfits that I wear. I'm in love with her. I get a lot of compliments on this bag. <laughs> Another bag I get quite a few compliments on actually and one that I really love, I take this a lot when I do have my kind of girls night or events or date night. Trevor actually got me this kind of clutch type purse. It's from Amazon. It will be linked in my shop as well. It just has like a small little zipper in there and then obviously the large pocket and then two divider pockets in there. A little bit darker neutral compared to the tote. All the purses that I've been carrying, these two have been the most that I get complimented on and the ones that I end up carrying the most. To lock this one, you just twist it like that. It's pretty simple. There is a really bright pink one of this that kind of has a little bit of 
I want to say fur, but it's not really fur. If you've checked out the Marc Jacobs website, then you kind of know what I'm talking about. But that's the next one that I want to buy of this because I definitely want to take it for like my mom play dates. I think it'd be so cute to just tag along in a bright pink purse. Yes, love these bags. Highly recommend both of them. While we're in the dining room, my chairs also picked up from Amazon. I'm obsessed with these. I didn't think I could love a chair so much and I didn't think I would want a separate dining room. I thought it was kind of a waste, but I'm truly loving how the space is coming together and I can't wait to finish decorating it. Yes, they are white. Honestly, my kids and dogs haven't had any issues with dirtying them at this moment, so hopefully it stays that way. They do unzip so you can take them off to clean them should I need to, but I just think they're absolutely stunning and they give such a cozy, warm feeling to it. Really enjoy for a dining space, especially during holidays. My family comes in like a couple weeks, you guys. I'm so excited to see them. They're coming for the kids' birthdays, but obviously they're gonna come for Christmas and I think I have family coming for Thanksgiving as well. So it just will be a nice space to host, nice dinners, kind of fur, sherpa type look to it just brings warmth to the space also from amazon which i highly recommend if you have stairs in your home and you don't have one of these yet it's a stair basket when i'm doing a bunch of cleaning and i don't want to keep going up and down the stairs multiple times i put everything that the kids bring down here or that i need to take upstairs and that way either kale can take it up when he gets home and actually goes upstairs later or if i go upstairs but that way it's not just sitting on the staircase because the kids would put their stuff right here like in the freaking walkway, I don't understand that mindset, but hey, kids, you know, I don't understand either. I do actually have another one of these on the way that's like wicker form. And I just want to try it out to see which one I like better aesthetic wise. So I will put both in my Amazon shop for you to check out. This one's obviously felt. The other one's gonna be a little bit more sturdier, but might be harder to clean. It might not hold as much stuff. So I got two different kinds to see what I think would work best here. But so far, I'm really liking this one. Let's talk candles for a minute. The Coffee and Whiskey and the Dark Amber and Oud, I believe is how you pronounce it, from Bath and Body Works. You guys, my husband is a candle fiend. I mean, more than I have ever been. That man loves some candles. He don't typically like the same scents, however, this one I bought and I started lighting it when we moved into the new house and every time he came home from work I had this candle lit in our bedroom and every time he walked in he'd be like god I love the smell of that candle and I was shocked because I'm in love with this candle and I was like are we agreeing on something are we agreeing on a smell for the house I couldn't believe it so I have stashed up on these very masculine which is also a shock to me because I typically like the fruitier type scents and pretty much anything but I'm telling y'all if you don't have this one you need to get it because it is so warm and like I said masculine it's deep it's sexy it's toasty but it's also in the same way uplifting and relaxing, if that makes sense. I mean, like, I don't understand the witchcraft in this candle, but I'm in love and my husband's in love. Another one that we really enjoy, coffee and whiskey. There's two more. It's There's a cinnamon one. I can't remember the second name for it, but we love that one and I think it's perfect for holidays. Got like a mauve pinkish candle holder tone to it. And then there is a leather and brandy, I believe, which is also really nice, more masculine. The cinnamon one is a little bit more feminine due to the cinnamon is why I think it's perfect for holidays. But the leather and brandy, they were out when I went to go pick up some more, so I will definitely get more once I see them. But this is the one that we have going on constantly in the house. Something I have oddly gotten a lot of compliments on in my videos and when people come over to this house is the utensil holder and my utensils. Both are from Amazon. Obviously, again, they will be linked. My husband did not know that they are not dishwasher proof, so it kind of ruined the handle in this one. We can just restain it and reseal it so it will be fine. If you're looking for something dishwasher proof, this isn't for you. But if you are okay with hand washing your utensils and you want something aesthetically pleasing, these have been amazing. I love the silicone with the wood. They did have different colors, 
but I just thought the gray in the wood would be match our home better. And then this simple yet sleek, kind of a cream. It's not a pure white, which I love. It's very soft and kind of has like a beigey undertone to it utensil holder i don't know i didn't realize people were kind of obsessed with these things as much as i was people are always asking me where i got this stuff so it's from amazon just the way it's all put together i feel makes the countertop look very sleek if that makes sense another kitchen favorite for me are the salt and pepper grinders i feel like y'all know just looking at it in the way i've been talking these neutral colors i had to get them because if i'm going to do one thing it's buy something that is aesthetic and functional and they work so well they did not come with the salt and pepper which was kind of a bummer for me because everything i've ever bought like this always came with it so if you're going to get these you need to have the stuff ready to grind on hand but you cannot go wrong with the look of this. Just attach the little black things at the bottom to grind it. And look at them. They're so pretty. I am getting old when I fall in love with a salt and pepper shaker. Now we can get into cleaning these scrub daddy wands. I have two of them. I'm about to buy four more. I feel like I need to have them in every bathroom. Definitely one in the kitchen and one just for in case. I guess I use these for everything. Obviously in the kitchen dishes, I use it to clean countertops. I use it to clean grout baseboards, toilet, shower, tub, sinks, everything. I mean, I love Scrub Daddy, but the wand, I don't know, it just makes things easier for me. You can replace the brush head, keep the wand. This would be a million times better for me if it came with a white brush head or like a gray one, but I'll deal with the yellow out from now. See like this brush, I bought these two to compare to see which one I would like best. I don't like this brush as much, but if they could take this aesthetic and apply it to that, we would be golden. So I have one of these upstairs, one of these in the master bedroom bathroom area, and then one of these in the living room. This microband 24 hour sanitizing spray. I will honestly never go back to Lysol. I don't know what it is about this. First of all, the sprayer, I've never seen a more perfect sprayer in my life. Do y'all, can y'all see how seamlessly that comes out? I don't know. I don't know. It's the little things for me, but smell of the fresh scent. Oh my God. I love spraying this. I like, I will clean just to spray this and I'm not exaggerating. I don't want to spray it around the house when the house is not clean because that's just weird to me. But as soon as I'm done cleaning the house, I go everywhere with this thing and it makes me so freaking happy. Highly recommend. There are other scents. I've never tried them. I, cause like why fix something that isn't broken? I probably won't steer away from this scent, but just, just go ahead and get them just get them i bought this for the first time to clean this house if you watched my empty house move in kind of clean with me then you heard me talk about it and you saw it in action but if you didn't i had really bad hard water stains and things like that in the toilets from i guess the house sitting before we moved in and i needed something that would clean it properly this stuff worked like a dream since then i've just kind of used it for everything and it works so well. It is the fresh scent, but honestly, the scent is so light. If you're not into strong scents while cleaning, I highly recommend this, but it smells good at the same time. Does that make sense? It is foaming action, and I love a good foam while cleaning, especially because of like TikTok and stuff. I do a lot of ASMR cleans. Love it for that, but the cleaning portion of it is one of the best cleaners that I've used, especially for the bathroom. Works on plastic glass chrome ceramic fiberglass porcelain sealed granite and stainless steel i have not used it on stainless steel oh well i guess the faucets would be considered stainless steel i wonder if i could use this for like the fridge and stuff mm, i kind of want to try oh and glass so i got really bad the shower glass doors that i had had residue on it and this helped clear that up perfectly yes if you haven't tried this somebody did try it after my video and said they were 
completely thrilled for me putting them on this <laughs> because it worked amazingly in their home as well. I just, just get it, okay? And just try it on everything. I mean, I know it says Brilliant Bath, but sometimes I just use cleaners for other things if as long as you know it's safe for those types of surfaces. It's because it says bathroom. I don't really feel like you only need to use it for the bathroom. I use it for other things. I've used it for the wall and like it worked perfectly fine for that. Love this stuff. We'll definitely be buying it from here on out. I typically had bought like the Method bathroom cleaner, but I love this one so much more. I don't eat a lot of meat. I am slowly getting back into chicken. You guys know I had a not so pleasant experience with chicken and I swear I was never gonna eat it again. However, Trevor has made two really amazing chicken dishes for me recently. He made the chickens super, super, super thin. I'm talking like this thick. <laughs> And I said, please just go ahead and like overcook mine a little bit. Like I won't be mad that it's not juicy. I'm just trying to eat chicken again. And he did that for me and it was so freaking good. But I'm trying to eat more protein because I'm really trying to get back into my pre-pregnancy shape. And since I don't eat a lot of meat, I fit it in with other things. I've tried a lot of protein based pastas and I've hated every single one of them except this. I actually haven't had the elbows in this brand. I ordered the penne and rotini but I guess they were out so Walmart sent me this instead but I'm sure it's going to taste fine. The spaghetti I love but I've used this for all my kind of pasta dishes instead of the regular pasta. It tastes nearly identical. I mean I can kind of tell a slight difference but I feel like a lot of protein pastas are a big significant difference where this, I actually really enjoy it. So just a little comparison. It has 10 grams of protein, whereas this one has seven, 38 grams of carbs, which this has 42, 200 calories versus 190. The numbers might seem not that big of a deal, but for me, especially right now, because I think a lot of my issues with my weight loss is a little bit hormonal and what I eat. And I'm a carb fiend. Eating something that I enjoy that might be just a little bit less is a big deal for me. Next one actually isn't for me, but if you are type one diabetic like my son, and you're looking for a snack. So my son can't have anything over five grams of carbs as far as snacks go, unless he wants to take insulin for it, but he can only have his insulin every four hours. There is a yogurt brand, I think it's called like Too Good or something like that, that he would be able to have. However, he did not like it. And my son loves yogurt. We finally stumbled upon these Chobani Zero Sugars. So far, I've only seen them in vanilla and strawberry, but it has the five grams of carbs, which is perfect for him. It does have some calories. A lot of his snacks that are under five grams or just right at five grams have no calories or very small calories. So something that can be a little filling for him in that department while tasting good to him and also not require any type of shot. This has been a real lifesaver for us because you know, I want my son to be able to go and grab something and snack on it like he used to. It may not be the same variety of options, but it's a big deal to me that he has stuff that he can just go and eat without, you know, having to worry about it. Even if you're not type one diabetic and you just want something lower carb, this might be a good option for you, but I'm buying these specifically for my son because of his type one diabetes. Last but not least, as far as favorites go, this liquid IV, this video is not sponsored. However, I do have a discount code if you are into these or have been wanting to try them. My discount code is my name, Latoya Marcinko, all caps. I will also put it down in the description box below. I have a bunch of different flavors of these and so far these two are my favorite, the Tropical Punch and the Yuzu Pineapple. So I love this when I need a little bit of energy and I don't want to take an energy drink per se. It gives me good hydration. But the flavor of this is to die for. I try not to drink too many of these a day. Tropical Punch. So I love these for after workout, during workout, 
when we're going out to like the beach, especially because it's harder in that area, but to the park, whatever. And now soccer, because somehow your girl got roped into being my son's soccer coach, was not planning to do that, didn't want to do that because I have enough going on, but nobody else would step up. And we walked to that meeting expecting there to be a coach and there was none. Me volunteering so that the kids could play because nobody else was volunteering. Now I take this to coach his soccer practice and soccer games. Yeah, actually I'm gonna pour one of these right now. Okay, so that's gonna be it for this current favorites video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Have an amazing week ahead of you guys. I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.